Hey everyone, it's Daphne with Scrap and Create and we're working on page eight, page eight of Sweet Winter and for some reason I can't remember the name of this collection. So this is from the eight by eight collection and the this these three elements are all from the uh, 12 by 12 collection pack, I believe, I yeah, collection pack. <clears throat> So this is what I currently have planned. I'm not sure if I like it this way or the other way, but let's go ahead and decorate or add our elements and then we can start the decorating process. Okay. So this will go pretty quickly. It's a very simple page. <clears throat> so we're gonna have our flap come across the top. And then we've got a pocket on the bottom. I forgot to burnish these, I think. It makes a big difference when trying to take the backing off. pocket is going to go on the bottom like so and we're going to add a magnet to keep everything closed quick reference line we know we need to place our magnet between those two between this line and the top of the pocket <clears throat> Sorry, <clears throat> somebody in the neighborhood had a <clears throat> was running their fireplace last night, and it really uh, got my allergies riled up. <clears throat> and I'm a lot more sensitive since COVID. It seems everything lands in my lungs. <clears throat> okay, so there we go. Now we can start decorating. We're going to, again, this is from the 8x8, put the beautiful skater on the top of the flap. And here it is. It was hiding. Okay, now let's decorate the pocket. Let's, so it goes this way because it's got a little bird on it. So that's option one. This is what I had originally chosen. <clears throat> and option two, and I like this better. So we're gonna do it this way. This was a scrap left from page one. So it is from the 12 by 12 patterns. Or background. <laughs> Perfect. Okay, and this is so pretty. So we're gonna put uh, one side up and one side down. Um, two side down, too busy. So I think this goes, I think they're both the same size. Uh, a little bit different. Okay, that's already trimmed to fit. <clears throat> I don't even know why I try. And these are my nails, I just, I can't get underneath it. I don't know if it's dexterity or just the shape of my nails, but it doesn't work. <clears throat> Up 
pay attention to your orientation. There are letters, words on this. Okay, now this is a little bit too big, so I'm gonna trim a little of that excess off because it's way too much to try to get into the pocket. So I'm gonna leave about a half inch. <coughs> Okay, and we're gonna put a nice large insert in here. I'm gonna make it seven and a half by seven and a half. <clears throat> so that's a very large insert. So that's gonna go in here. And let's pick something to go on there. We want it to, to sort of enhance what's going on here. So this is... I love that paper. I don't want to use that. That's too similar. <clears throat> I'm looking at the backgrounds. Uh, yeah, the 8x8 eight eight backgrounds right now. go with this. It's very simple, so it's going to make it easy to put photographs on. Seven and a half by seven and a half, so seven and three eighths by seven and three eighths. Super simple. It's, uh, <clears throat> it's hitting the um, <clears throat> the score on the bottom, so there it goes. I was trying too hard. That looks lovely. And you can easily see how you can put a photo here and photos on here, and of course on the reverse side as well, or you can preserve the reverse side for some additional journaling. So that's page eight. Thanks, everybody.